Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. I am Robot Genie and we are here playing as Canada. Um, my recording uh, crashed, so you didn't miss much. We're just uh, we're just building stuff, <coughs> changing some technologies around. Nothing, uh, nothing like uh, super critical. Uh, we are finishing up our production, building these um, brigades. Some good stuff, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy important uh, happened. Well, uh, well, I was not recording there by accident. <clears throat> so let's just uh, let's get these guys all together. And yeah, uh, they need leaders. I guess defense was all right. I want this guy as a top level leader. Um, but I guess we can put the paratrooper guy there. It's not a paratrooper, but why not? The combined arms is probably a good one for these guys. Now we, we could probably switch them around and give them some more important um, generals, but I, I think it's all right to just do it like this. Um, probably a school of offense. This guy over here. Alright. Um, get a level 3 commander here. Take the offensive and fortress buster. That seems good. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Okay, so we're spending... Let's get all these guard units up. That's what we really want to be spending points on. Make sure this guy's at the top. And I guess the IC. We also kind of want the IC at the top. <clears throat> Alright. Now, this guy is added here. Um, I guess we'll give him a defensive one. And connect. And now we just gotta bring them over by transport. Should probably start um, loading everybody over to Sicily. I think that's probably a good place for them. Now this level four commander can also probably go to Sicily. It's probably where we want them. Uh, so that means that these guys maybe should connect to the level five. Not really sure. Not really sure where I'm gonna put them, but uh, definitely gonna move the level four over. Our war exhaustion is going down, so we can probably uh, boost up IC eventually. Uh, you know, as long as we're producing enough stuff. Our supplies are going down, <coughs> so we're gonna have to deal with that at some point here. Yep, first aid is uh, ahead of time. That's that's good. That's fine. Looks like we can't fit everybody into the boats at once. So. This will just go with like half. So, um, let's transport them over to Palermo. That'll be our our staging area. Really, we're waiting on the guard troops here. So, I guess we'll leave one guy over here. I mean, once again, we're gonna have to reorganize units when we get them all over. Oh wow, that guy can still attach <coughs> correctly to the four-star general. That's fine. We'll, we'll leave him like that then. No use <coughs> reorganizing stuff right now. Because I'll just probably have to do it again. Alright, let's go pick up these guys. I feel like just going into the save game and uh, making the U.S. join the war and then coming back out. Because it would just be way more interesting to have the U.S. in the war. I think I might do that um, if they haven't joined the war yet by the end of this episode. I mean, it's 1945. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'll just go in and force them to join the war. Uh, it's a little bit ridiculous. They're not in yet. It'll it'll make the game more interesting 
for sure. Because <laughs> uh, there's only so much I can do on my own as Canada, especially since Great Britain's being a tard. It'd kind of be nice to see the United States of America do something. I mean, as much as I don't like doing something like that, uh, <laughs> I'm totally going to do it. Because it just seems... You know, like, they normally joined at the end of 1941. Like, yeah, I, I can deal with that. But uh, the fact that they're, like, five years late on, or four years late on joining, um, you know, like, if they're two years late, that seems more reasonable, plausible. But four years late in a game that only covers, like, ten years is a pretty big deal. All right. Cool, we transported our units over here, so. Let's see, uh, we get the tank brigade. Who's our upper level unit, this guy? Let's attach him. Now we can't really, we still aren't gonna go anywhere yet. We're waiting on, um, on all these guard units to complete. Which seems like might be relatively soon, actually. We need to pump up supply spending them. Change uh, where the guards are producing because we, we need just need them all done. Oh, industrial capacity. That's nice. United Kingdom conquered Thailand. Okay. Good job, United Kingdom, except maybe you should, uh, you know, focus somewhere else. I mean, what did, what did Thailand really buy you? Oh, look at this. Uh, they are actually doing a push into Norway here. That's, uh, that's, that's good and interesting. Yeah, that is very good, actually. What do we got? We got like three months until all of our guard troops are ready, more or less. Hopefully. Like I said, no matter what happens at the end of this episode, I'm gonna, <laughs> if the U.S. is not joined, I'm going to go into the save game and make it. They will join, as I say so. All right, we got some of these guard divisions up. That is very nice. Now, instead of these airplanes, I actually just kind of want to build more destroyers. Because, uh, F the airplanes, whatever. I don't really care about the airplanes. We also got this mountain group here that we should probably build at some point. Make sure all the guards are on top. Yeah, so they're all researching in full. Looks like February 4th is the last one that's going to be completed. I wonder if I had to transfer. I guess it probably makes sense to start transporting them over now. <coughs> and uh, moving people out of the positions that they're already in. So, we'll do that. Let's put uh, some generals that we don't want anywhere else in charge of them. We do have a bunch of generals, and uh, it makes sense to use them. Especially these um, these old guards. Yeah, let's see. We'll probably get uh, a few more uh, guard troops here before the the um, the ships get in. Now, I don't know if I'm going to attach these uh, to certain hierarchies or not. Yeah, wow, that's that's a good amount. That's a good amount of guards. So we'll take them over and we'll come back for another set. So we're going to want to first uh, rebase here. 
just replace them one at a time. Yep, and we get more that we can launch. So that's good. Let's see, we only got four more to do. Wow, and we're already producing past the amount of ships. So I would really actually like, uh, how about more ships? Let's, uh, let's, let's get like a real, a real set of fleets here. So we destroy, so we can actually control the waters, you know? Why not? <clears throat> I mean, I think that's, I think that's a, a fine idea. So we get a whole bunch of, whole bunch of, uh, destroyers. Then perhaps we can finish some of this queued up crap. Where's this uh, fleet? Okay, we're here. This is nice. Uh, this guy, you're gonna load onto the ship. And then everybody except for one guard troop back on the ship.
Now let's make sure all these guys are connected to something. It looks like it. Okay. I think some of them are connected to the wrong uh, tier. But, uh, I don't know. It's getting too much of a pain in the ass to look at. I don't really want to reorganize it again. coming up to date here. That is, uh, that is very nice. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of upgrades. Reinforcements. Wow, we need a lot of reinforcements. Now we don't need any. I'll just save it like that. Whoa. We lost 4,000 troops and they lost 11,000? Where was this? Trying to, really trying to break through there. It looks like Great Britain's holding up in Norway for now. <clears throat> we need to open another front. We just need these guard troops. We need uh, the last few to finish production here. Alright. Finished, uh... Those infantry checks, that's good. Alright, let's get these guards into position. Let's make sure the equip them with all the old guard leaders. <clears throat> Alright, where do we want to go first? Um, I, I believe we want to, let's rebase over here. Finish off North Africa defense. The United Kingdom conquered Indochina. Okay, UK. Do as you wish. What is going on here? Alright, let's load everybody back in. Oh, there's one guy. Let's come over here to uh, Malta. Everyone gets in the boat. Just one guy. <clears throat> We're gonna rebase over to Sardinia. And oh, you go over there. So I pick you up. We're not leaving you. All right. Now uh, transport over here. Oh, well, I guess not transport. We wanted to uh, rebase. Rebase. Just get this guy in. Oh, this guy has an unknown leader. That's not good. Let's get him uh, something interesting. Here you go. Take that guy. Uh, then we can split off these guys. And then uh, we'll put one guard unit over here. So, uh, well, actually, let's, let's, yeah, I, I mean, I guess, I guess we'll rebase there and then switch some things out. Probably what I'm going to do is let's, well, who is already here? That's the question, right? Um, I guess I can leave whoever I want. Uh, well, that's hills. So, we actually probably just get away with having a mountain guy and a guard there. So, uh, I think I'm actually going to try that. See if we can just get away with that. Let's rebase. So, <clears throat> those are the two guys that are going to 
guard Messina for now. For now and forever. We're gonna attach... We're gonna attach them to the, uh, this nearest three stack. We're gonna attach this guy to the six. To the six. Six. I'm just gonna attach all the guards to the six. I want them attached to something, but I don't want to spend too many points. Like, I don't want too many layers just just for these guard troops. It, it would be unnecessary. The one that's defending Messina is more important, so that's why we're going to do that there. Okay, but I mean, this looks like a good end to this episode. Uh, so for the next one, I am I am going to uh, I'm going to go in just uh, load as the United States, make them join the war, um, <laughs> and then then we'll come back and continue to play Italy. Uh, I mean, Canada against Italy, and uh, with the United States on our side, just because uh, you know it's late enough that I feel like I'm justified in uh, just making them join the war. Anyway. Uh, yeah, if you're liking this series, make sure to like and or subscribe. See you next time. Later.